Hello! Hello, everybody! Welcome, 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 welcome! Okay, hold on, I'm gonna turn the music down. In my head, a little is kind of loud in my brain. Well, now that's too quiet in my brain. There we go. How's that? How's that sound for you guys? Is that okay? It's a little loud, I think. I think that's good. Hello! Or does chat look weird? Nope, chat's still not working. I don't know why. <laughs> I changed it up. I reset everything. It knows you're there. It just doesn't want to sh Look at you. Your dots. You've become nothing but dots. Congrats. <laughs> February 21st cannot come soon enough. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what's up with that. If I get rid of the CSS, it goes away? But then you get that. <laughs> I don't know if that's better or worse. Look at you guys. Hi, Clay! Clay! I, I don't know if that's better or worse. I almost feel like that's a lot worse. Look at, look at you guys. Look at you. There you go. <laughs> it's so tiny! Yep, that's what you get now. You get white, you get white themed YouTube chat. Congrats. Congratulations. I hope you like it. So, Kami's commission. I had so much more done with it last night. I was working on it. I got a couple hours in. And then Clip Studio Paint decided to try to save a backup. And I'm really dumb and I've been working on it off my hard drive, my external hard drive instead of my SSD. So when it saved the backup, it crashed everything, including the previous saves, which means all that work was gone. So. <laughs> Yeah. So we are we are back. Not square one, but we are back a few squares. I'm just gonna see if I find if I have my glove around here. I don't think I do. Aha! My glove. So kind of rough, but it's all right. At least I got some practice in with the new brush I got. I had to set up the brush again too. It remembered I downloaded the brush, but it didn't remember any of the settings I had for the brush, which means it didn't just like mess up the file, it messed up paint. It messed up the actual program. I'll clip so clip doesn't automatically save to the cloud. Um, and it doesn't do backups to the cloud. But so like what happened was because this this one was saved to the cloud. Um but because it was a messed up file, it then saved to the up to the cloud and messed up the cloud file that I had before. So it was a big mess. <laughs> chaos, chaos truly took over on this one. So yeah, I mean it's not a crazy brush. It's a it's it's a square. It's a square brush. But yeah, I've been trying to figure out these <laughs> rocks. So yeah, that's what we're gonna work on. We're gonna try to um yeah, my my goal, my goal, my plan was to have this done um by the end of the week. I don't know if that's possible now, but we're gonna try. Um we're gonna see if we can do that <laughs> without having some kind of mental break. It was very rough. I was very upset. Like, it was one of those things where, like, I had to put the pen down and walk away. I was so upset. Because, like, it's my fault. Because I should be saving. It's it's saved in my SSD now. But I should have been doing that from the beginning. And I wasn't. A month of commission art stream is brutal. So I'm just trying to get used to this new brush. Um, It's... It's just a square sketchy brush. So the brush itself isn't anything crazy, but I do have color. I'll show you. Um, I do have color. Hello. I do have color jitter on, which is down here. So it changes the color slightly per stroke. So it kind of randomizes a little bit, make it a little bit more interesting. Um, yeah. 
I'm trying to stick with like square shapes. It's not the greatest thing, but I think it's mixing well. I think if I just keep working with it, it's one of those things that eventually I can kind of sculpt something out of. Maybe is my hope. I'm actually really upset too because the the rocks that I had going on were pretty good. I'm just trying to think of like jagged shapes, really. And then I kind of decided I was going to go more for a, um, like not an abstract, but not get like really crazy with the details. Cause like, honestly, the rocks are background elements. So like they shouldn't have like insane details on them, if that makes sense. Like I want the viewer to know they're rocks, but I don't want to go like ham on them, if that makes sense. My rocks. I don't use the effect brush. What do you mean the effect brush? Decorations? Uh, not for something like this, no. You don't get to know this rock's entire backstory. I was really sad too, because I had a really nice like blending effect going down down here. It looked really nice. It was rough. <laughs> I like stopped and I walked. I literally had to get up and walk away from my computer. It was one of those moments, I think I've told that story before, where I kicked through a wall after my Photoshop crashed. See the little stuff? Oh, yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. I would never use that for something like this. These I use... Oh, I probably wouldn't work with that color. I only ever use these, like, sometimes when I'm finishing a piece. I would never use these, like, to paint something on a piece, if that makes sense. Like, if I just needed, like, one rock in a field, then yeah, but, like, I wouldn't be able to use anything like that for something like this, because it's like, I'm painting it, if that makes sense. Yeah, just a lot of color picking, really. And then trying to get, like, some kind of rocky texture. I'm trying to work it a lot without overworking it, if that makes sense. Hello, Caboose! You put a hole in the wall like a Kyle? Did I not tell that story? Or did I tell it so long ago that a lot of people weren't here? Wow. So I was working on a, a piece. Um, and again, my fault. Um, I hadn't been saving it. So it's just like on like a your standard basic Photoshop file. Not saved. And then my Photoshop crashed on my crappy laptop. Which happened quite a bit, so I should have known better. Um, and yeah, I lost like, and that was bad because I lost like five or six hours of work. And I got so mad. I didn't mean to kick the wall. I mean, I meant to kick the wall. I didn't mean to kick a hole in the wall. I didn't know that it was going to put my foot through. I didn't know the wall was going to accept my foot through it. <laughs> um. Yeah, so I accidentally kicked through the wall. So, completely unintentionally, I was just gonna kick the wall and then, like, be upset and then, you know, move on with my life. But then the wall decided to be a little botch, bitch. Could have broken your toe. Yeah, maybe. I don't think there's any studs in those walls, to be honest with you. It was a really, really crappy double wide trailer. I don't even know if there's actual, like, construction materials used in its creation the wall hole yeah <laughs> so i i learned how to patch a hole in drywall that week so yeah <laughs> that was rough because then it's like, you put a hole in the wall and you're like, oh, oh no, I'm still mad about the Photoshop, but I just put a hole in the wall. Oh my god. I think I fell down the stairs and smashed my head directly into a wall. Absolutely zero wall. Well, that's because your head is empty and there's no weight behind it, Bleach. Will there probably be, like, undersides of the rocks that have lights? I should probably, like, adjust. I wonder if there's a size jitter. I don't know. Brush tip, hardness, thickness, angle, brush density. Hmm, guess not. 
That's alright. Would have been neat, but it's fine. Don't need that. Actually, it probably would be under dark spots, so it would probably be like here. Maybe. Oop. So yeah, something like this is just a lot of um, color picking. And then kind of like working it around and making it, you know, places that make sense to have dark colors and places that make sense to have light colors, things like that. Um, I do want to change this background color. Actually, I want to change like all these colors. Because I want, I want this guy to be the light source that's hitting these rocks, but I don't want them to be like bright pink, if that makes sense. Because it's not, it's not, uh, I want, I want the color to be more muted than that. Less saturated. Because it's still rock. It's not like they're, they're glass or like a mirror or something. What are we drawing? It's it's Commissar's uh, commission. It's coming along. So like I like I don't know. Like this spot's going good, I think. This spot needs some work yet, but this spot's going good, I think. I'll probably change up the background a bit. Maybe make it. I don't know if I. I'm trying to make it figure out how to get these to pop, the rocks here, and then also get this guy to pop, but then have it still feel um like together. Is it a 40k thing? Uh, kinda, not really. Um, because Comstar commissioned it with a commercial link. Um, I can't copy 40k exactly. Cause Game Workshop, Game, game Gamers, Game Workshop is really stingy about their P IP. So, we don't want to, uh, we don't want to copy them. If that makes sense. So, it's 40k-esque. It's got a 40k feel. So. That's why, that's why it's not like a specific 40k uh, creature. Not too bright. I'm trying to like kind of sculpt out a rock or two here that like makes sense to me. It's kind of weird because they would be like, like there would be like some highlights from over here, yeah, like that. Just call it four thousand and one, and you'll be fine. She'd be a whimsical Valkyrie. <laughs> Kami gave me no fee- like, no, not feedback. Um, Kami said a big bad evil guy. And this is what my brain came up with. He's still a mess. He's still a work in progress. <laughs> I've been more- <laughs> I've been more stressed about the rocks than I have been about the monster. So. It's okay. We'll get there. He's, uh, he's still a work in progress. I don't have like a solid plan for him, so I'm kind of working him as things go. Which is why he looks like a mess. I want, so like the general idea is I want some kind of like mech looking metal shtick kind of guy that's still kind of crazy, but not super crazy. And then I want to make it look like Nurgle got him. And he has like ooze and teeth and, and you know, um, rotting organic matter kind of falling out of him is what I want is is the plan so that's what this would be so I need to kind of upgrade that a little bit Nurgle loves you so Papa Nurgle got him is the is the thought process like a Necron crypt woke up and started walking around kinda yeah Like, because I know there's not really mech in 40k, so it's a little, 
a little out there, but I also didn't want to like make it questionable. Like, oh, is this a 40k bad guy? Is this not a 40k bad guy? I just didn't want to. I didn't want to um, have it like a doubt in there. If that makes sense. Actually, if he doesn't know what exists in lore, it's Vashtor, and she doesn't know it yet. What's Vashtor? Time to Google! Vashtor. Oh, all Google knows. Lexi Lexica. <laughs> That's a lexicum. <laughs> eh. Oh, look at that guy! Oh, yeah, that makes sense with the mecha mecha Mechanos? Mechan me mechanicus? Oh, the miniature's scary. He's kind of got like a muscular thing going on with his metaliness, which is kind of weird. Mechanos. I don't know why, I always read it Mechanos instead of Mechanicus. 40k is your own story anyway, you pay enough for those rights. <laughs> no more hammer dwarves have a ver verbal tick and say Dewari at the end of their sentences. I don't want it to be like pink. I don't want Kami to have pink rocks. Although last time he wanted blue rocks. I don't know. Maybe I should just give him some. Give the man some blue rocks. Maybe that's what he truly wants in his life. Mech anus. <laughs> Okay, so I think that's okay. There, this part's so good. I want this part to be better. I don't know. Maybe if I just keep like blending and well, I just gotta keep blending, right? <laughs> this is gonna be one of those things where I'm not gonna be able to know when to tell myself to stop. It's time to stop. Oh no, I didn't put on another layer. I didn't put on another layer. It's fine. No wonder it's blending so nicely. Alright, that'll tone down the red. <laughs> Slap some green on top of it. Always be blending. Never stop blending. Give me a dark color. Yeah, so, I don't know, I like this brush. I like the whole, I like uh, using the color jitter on it. I think it's been working for the rocks. I think it'd be neat to have it with like a watercolor edge. I think that would have a cool effect too. Not for this piece necessarily, but just in general. There we go, now we're kind of sculpting something. Oh no, layer check. Ugh. Another reason to go back to Twitch. What these reset? Um, oh, I just bit my lip. A lot of it's just Google search. I don't know. I don't really have. I'm trying to think of like a weird story I have from looking up references. I don't think I have like any, I gotta have something weird. Yeah, it's really just rocks. All right, so we are going, I'm going on a new layer. I need to figure out this background. Oh, yeah, okay. Oh, actually I have an idea. Okay, watch this cool trick, guys. So if you ever have like a background, you're like, I don't feel about the background. I also painted a crap ton on the background. So we're gonna do um, that and then we're gonna do edit. Um. Tonal correction, hue and saturation. So watch, watch carefully. We're just gonna do a quick hue shift. I was thinking more orange, but yellow might be nice. And then maybe bring down the saturation, right? Okay, now wait, wait, hold on. Because things get less saturated the farther back it goes, which is what we're doing. Now wait, 
Now we do filter, blur, Gauss and blur. We'll just turn up the, we'll just whip up the strength just, just a tad. Guys are learning hardcore art things right now. Digital art, let's go! <laughs> Turn up just a bit. Wait for my computer to, you know, keep up with the blurring. Alright, we're gonna do a little bit more. Alright, that's plenty blurry. Now watch. Now, guys, you can't see it, it's off screen. No! Hold on. I want you guys to see this. Here it is, pin. Nope, not that. Biscuits. <laughs> Why did it do that? I want you guys to see this over here. Can't believe you guys saw my OBS again. Alright. This right here is called a layer mask. Create layer mask. Bonk! What does that do? It lets you do this. It's a little bit easier in Photoshop than it is in Clip, but that's okay. So, if I have a black... Do I have a pen or eraser on right now? No. Black. Hold on. Wait? Why is it... Okay, you're making me look stupid. Why is it not doing it? Oh! Oh, okay. It is working. I'm just... It's working. Everything's fine. It's been working. Everything's everything's fine. Alright, so basically what happens if... <laughs> I thought I was erasing other stuff. As you can see right here, it's black. So any part that's black, it lets the layer underneath it shine through. But you're, let's say I just erased too much. So then we swap over to the white and we go back through it. Why is it? We go back through it. And guess what? It's back. And you don't have to worry about losing things you erased. Boom. Layer masks. And that's why we love layer masks. I use that for everything. I rarely, if I'm like doing like an edit for like a thumbnail or a meme or anything, I always use layer mask. I don't use the eraser tool. So. So clip is a little, I keep forgetting. So Photoshop, you use the black and white paint brushes, right? In clip, you use pen and eraser. So that's what was happening. So I was trying to swap the colors and it's not the colors, it's pen and eraser in clip. So it's a little bit different. How do you use this damn layer mask? I, yep, they're super easy. All right, so what I'm gonna do then is just kind of unmask our friend here and unblur him because we want him nice and short. And I don't want him to have a changed color palette. And it's okay to do, the, like, not be like, like, I'm kind of try to get as close as possible to his edges, but I'm going to be painting over the top of this layer anyway, so like it doesn't have to be perfect. I'm just trying to get like a general uh, thing going here. So. Digital art is a, uh, it's a, it's a new skill set. It's a whole new skill set. Lots to look up. Yeah, so basically it's supposed to be this 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 mechanicus mech dude getting taken over by Nurgle. And then Kami the Krieger. Krieg? Krieger? Krieg? Is uh is gonna it's gonna fight him. But yes, I'm hoping to have this done by the end of the week. Hopefully. <laughs> I might just burn the midnight oil if I have to. Such a weird saying. I don't like that. It's so creepy. Back down the rocks from the green to the bank. Thank you. Creeks Marine? I don't think they're called Creeks Marine. Alright, and then I want these to be the right color. So we're gonna erase and not be blurry because they're in the foreground. So we're gonna get rid of that. Oops. 
See, but that's the nice thing is like if I mess something up, I can go back and, and repaint it over. Why is it creepy? What did I say was creepy? <laughs> Wait, <laughs> when I'm doing too much stuff at once. Just a German sailor. Oh, okay. I was like, I know I heard that somewhere. You said midnight oil is creepy. Oh yeah, I don't know. It's it makes me it like makes me uh think of like an old man like hunched over wearing like a really uh, thin and creepy wife beater, like a, like it's dirty, like it's dirty and kind of ripped, and he's really skinny, and like super skinny, and he's like really hunched over, and you can see his bones through his shirt, like his back, like that's how skinny he is, so you can kind of see his like skeleton through his skin, kind of deal, and he's like hunched over his desk in the dark, and he's like ricketedly doing something, like he's like. You can't see what it is because the light's so low. Like, there's just a light on the desk. And it's just, like, him silhouetted with, like, his, like, crickety form. And he's, like, working on something. But it's, like, really dark and kind of spoopy. That's, that's what I, that's what I picture in my head when someone says they're burning the midnight oil. You don't need a towel to make 3D ball or even a car with a line or a lip stool. You should just layer mask and use a gradient bling brush to get the 3D effect. Oh, yeah. The band? No, just like the saying. Burning the midnight oil. And ta da! Now the foreground is separated from the background. Let's go! I also was. So I've been like stuck on this for a hot minute. Which is part of the reason why it's been taking so long. Um, so I also... I, <laughs> I pulled a Jaws and just for the sake of trying to come up with like something to kickstart my brain was I just crank the curve super hard. So you get like... Oh, wait, no, not that one. You get all these crazy like... <laughs> the color effects. I can't believe my cute Valkyrie has psychotic hallucinations. You have no idea! I can imagine some kid lighting up an old oil lamps on a foggy night because that's really where the term burning minute oil come from. Well, here's here's Drifter with the actual facts. No, I don't think you do. I don't think you do. Alright. Alright, 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 alright. All right, so now we're gonna go back on a new layer and paint over the top of this guy. This is what he looked like before. I can't tell if I like the rocks or not. Like I do, but I don't. Like I almost feel like, I don't know, what do you guys think? I, I feel like the other rocks are better. I don't know. I like the newer darker rocks. Okay, maybe I'm just like struggle busting with it is all. I'll add more glowing effects and stuff. More defined, okay. Maybe I'm just thinking about it too much. Okay, I don't want to work on him yet. <laughs> I don't want to work on you yet, sir. All right, so we're gonna put like an orange color and then kind of make it like, so we're gonna add some some highlights to these these turds back here. These giant stone turds. I don't know. I like I like this painting a lot. I don't know why. Every time Commissar commissions me, he like gives me this commission, and I'm like, oh yeah, I can do that. I can do that. Okay, yeah, it's fine, right? And I'm like, oh, I got this. It's fine. But then it's like it turns out it's really hard and complicated, and I'm like, holy shit, why is this always thing to happen? And then when I finish it, I'm like, this is the favoriteest piece of artwork I've ever fucking made. So I don't know. I don't know what's up with that. It's it's weird. 
Maybe I should draw more 40k stuff. I don't know. It's kind of intimidating. I'm scared of the... I'm scared of the 40k community. <laughs> Better than Oscar? Oscar was a whole different ball game. Oscar was his own ball game. Payback for the arms. It is an emotional roller coaster. It really truly is, too. Just follow the Ruru? -roo? What the heck is the Ruru? -roo? I also kind of like how these rocks don't really make sense on how they're, like, sitting. Like, they're just propped up super weird, so I might just keep that, because it kind of makes it feel, like, un un uh, unnatural, and it's kind of uncomfortable, and I like that, so. The rules. What's the rules? I mean, I'm not going to play the game. I just don't understand the rules. I want, like, something like this, but not quite this. Thanks. I need opinions. Would make a better bard or rogue to be a merchant? I think a bard, personally. I don't know. It depends what kind of merchant you want to be. I don't know the rules. I don't know the 40k community rules. <laughs> so far, my experiences with them haven't been bad, because it's been, like, kami and Gato, and Terminus, and Taiga, and... A little bit of Tib. <laughs> he who shall not be named. Um, yeah, so, but, you know, I, I just... They, I don't know. And Tacos. Yeah, I know those people. I also don't want to sculpt these out too much because, like I said, these are supposed to be... Wow, these came together so fast! What the heck? I put on some highlights and are like, boom, we are absolutely rocks. And you're like, what the heck happened? Guys, I'm. this is amazing. I don't know if you guys realize what happened. This is amazing. Look, they're just rocks now. They're just freaking rocks. I don't need- I don't need to touch them. They're done. They're done. I don't need to touch them. I'm saving. Holy crap. d, &D players are kind of crazy with their minis and blind devotion to the franchise. For a case, the same. Just amplified a few hundred times. Be in the zone. I know. This is weird. This is turning... Okay. I will say this. This is turning out better than, than what I had before. So. I'm trying to figure out what to put in the background. I have like fires, right? These are supposed to be like smoke for fires. I'll probably do more of that. I am a whole emotion. So what happened was, right? I ended up going to this little coffee shop and I didn't really want coffee. So I got this like energy drink they sell, which is like load. I what was it? Like Lotus? Lotus something. Lotus energy drink? Was that it? Yeah, it must be. I don't even know. Wait, is this an MLM? It's not an MLM, is it? Okay, no, apply for wholesale. Okay, it's not an MLM. MLM. Thank God. I was like, no. Oh my gosh. Um, yeah, and it's been just carrying me through the entire day, which has kind of been crazy, which is why I asked about, like, Gamer Fuel and G-Sups on Twitter. No, it's not from Herbalife. It's like a whole separate thing. I thought, I was looking at the website and I thought it was, like, Herbalife for a second, and I was like, no! But they're, like, a whole separate completely different thing. They don't do, they don't do like multi-level marketing or anything like that. They, they just do wholesale. So that's different. They work with Peepsy. 
It says healthy and fun alternative. Interesting. Well, that's the thing is like, I don't want to drink energy drinks like in the can because like that crap makes me feel disgusting. Like I feel awful. I feel sick. I feel yucky. I feel just awful. But then, like, coffee's starting to do that to me now, too, where I just feel crappy afterwards. So I was trying to see if there was, like, something. Because everyone keeps talking about how, like, um, G Fuel and Gamer Subs and stuff and Rogue Energy, they're like, oh, yeah, this is healthier for you and you don't have the sugar crash and blah, 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 You know? So. And I don't want to have to keep drinking them either. Because when I drink energy drinks, if I don't keep drinking them, I feel, I get, I crash and I feel even more disgusting after because like if I have like a rock star in the morning because I had a bad night like by 11 o'clock I'm struggle busting again so I uh yeah I don't know it's just not an option problem was I mixed it in creatine and it made me crazy so god damn it gamma where's your sugar that's why I drink it but gamer subs is the way to go Rockstar in 2023. It tastes better than the other ones. They got a flavor called oat cream. It's what to be. I was going to get, uh, I think Rogue Energy has, I think it was Rogue, it has free samples. Some lunatic in my DMs linked me to Rogue Energy, so. But go off, I guess. Cause like normally this time I'm a little worried though because normally this time of night I'm getting sleepy right so it makes it hard to stream so I'm not that which is great I feel like I'm a thousand times more talkative this stream than I have been the last couple streams however I do have to go to sleep at some point tonight and I don't know if that's gonna happen I'm gonna be honest with you I'm a little worried about it I don't I don't want to stay up till four in the morning so I don't know We'll see what happens. I'm hoping I just get like that, like, like sudden wave of sleepy that happens sometimes. More time to grind Valheim. But I have to work tomorrow. Alright, so I think we're gonna... Let's get our square painting rock thing coming back here. Yeah, so I don't know. I don't know uh, what's gonna happen in my life in... Two-ish hours, three-ish hours. Gamer, I am nowhere near big enough to become a gamer sups flavor, like Shy Lily, blowhole blast. <laughs> I don't know if I I can't handle the names. They sound so gross. <laughs> I don't want to drink Shy Lily's blowhole. I don't want to. Don't make me do it. Yeah, so I'll, I'll report back and see if I'm about, you know, if I actually sleep tonight. I'll let you guys, I'll let you guys know. Uh, I'm a little concerned. So far my vote is probably not, probably, probably nay. Bleach, I will ban you. I've already banned someone today. I will ban another one. Valkyrie Sweat could be the next big gamer fuel flager. Breh. Breh, don't put that evil on me. Don't put the evil on me. I want to sleep. I actually like sleeping, you guys. Yeah, so I don't know. I don't know. But if I can have like one drink, right? Like one drink in the morning and then be like a functional adult for the rest of the day, that would be fantastic. You know? Because normally I'm exhausted by now and I've been like great all day. I've been in a great mood all day. Like I, like it's been fantastic. Jaws, I'll ban you too. 
Okay, let's work. Let's stop avoiding it. Let's work on our, our robot. I don't know. He's the thing I'm really stuck on, unfortunately. Actually, let's do some more of the background. <laughs> I have an idea. I just got an idea for what to do. I'm trying to this atmospheric effect. Um, but we're going to put in a layer underneath this. A little more orangey. I don't know. I'm, I don't know if I should keep the square brush. I should probably swap to the other round brush. Is this, is this my ramen brush? Oh, it's ramen. Ramen's outside my door. I was like, what is that sound? This is my ramen brush. Oh, but I don't like how thick that is. Boy paint. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. I think I'm going to swap back to my square brush. Um... Apple pie mead. What's the, um, what's the brand on that mead out of curiosity? I don't like this either. I think I like the color jitter, the color jitter though. So maybe we'll go here, go down to my good brush. Where is it? There it is. Maybe we'll, uh, we'll mess with the color jitter a little bit. Okay, so basically my plan here is to, in fact, um, actually we're going to do it this way. Larry, I keep changing my mind on how to do this. Um, this will work. Okay. Hold on. We'll just do a quick, uh, yeah. Do this and then do this, right? Now hold on. Now we're gonna do that. We're gonna do another layer mask. We're gonna do. Oh no, don't do that. Oh no. There we go. We just kind of erase more background stuff. Delete. No. You select inverse, selected area, expand by 10 pixels is fine. And then delete. Control D. Okay. There we go. Just do a little cleanup, and then we're going to knock this down quite a bit more. And this is, this is, this is rendering. This is painting. <laughs> I'm, like I said, I'm kind of stuck with this one. Um, not that it's, I'm not stuck stuck. It's just, it's making me think, which is good. It's not a brainless, like, just draw the character thing, so. Which has made it both fun and intimidating. But I'm just trying to make sure things pop enough and I'm trying to keep to some kind of color uh, balance. You know what? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I'll do these. Character design! It tastes like a fruity pebbles milk. That sounds disgusting. Why are they gonna have weird flavors?
No. Yeah, cereal milk. When it's cereal milk. Yes, cereal milk itself is the best part. But I do not want to make a powder drink with water and then have it taste like cereal milk. You're weird. Just like you and your Sour Patch Kids. Drink. Ah! There, now they're fading into the background. Let's go! Yeah, that is exactly what I had a problem with. The weird Sour Patch, you're drinking candy. No, it's disgusting. Don't make drinks that taste like candy. Just eat the candy, you freak. Oh, I should save. Yes, thank you, Brian. Swedish fish is gross. I do not want to drink gum. Thank you. Skittles drink also sounds disgusting. You guys are weird. I don't know how you guys can drink candy. Okay, now I guess I have to actually work on the big guy. <laughs> I don't care if a can of C4 has zero sugar. It sounds disgusting. Like, I'm thinking about vomiting just thinking about it. One type of wax is also used for polishing cars. So that would be probably why they have that gross taste. <laughs> no, it's gross. I'm pretty sure candy corn is probably made all that same wax. Let's, let's be honest. Okay, 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 okay. I'm trying to figure out what to do with this guy. He's, I think... <laughs> I think I made him too saturated too fast, and that's why I'm struggle busting with him a little bit. I think. I think. But, like, I don't know. I don't know, like. He's too. Like, there's not enough on him, you know? Super tiny detailed hieroglyphs in red. Okay, maybe. I get what you're saying. I think I need to do more with like his actual structure though first before I, like I like that idea. I just think I need to do more with his actual structure first before I start adding. He's not to the detail point yet. He's, his, his whole shtick is kind of a mess. Candy corn's gross. Candy corn's hot garbage. Candy corn is made of ass. Hello, Allspark. Check Twitch. I can't check Twitch. I'm streaming, Allspark. What's going on on Twitch? What do I check on Twitch? What are you talking about? Check. What? What? What am I checking? Big Cheese Vampire Survivors is streaming. Oh no. What? How do I check? I don't- I'm not streaming. I don't know. I don't know how to check. I like how you're like, oh, ho, 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 let's just let's just spam on Twitch the gift subs. Oh, ho, ho. I don't even know how to check that. I don't even think I can check that. I don't. I can't even. How do I see that? Activity? No. <laughs> I have no idea how to check that. <laughs> I don't know. I don't activate. No. Y'all. No! Don't say that! It is a nuclear destruction. 
Like, I know how to check in with OBS, but I can't do that while I'm streaming on YouTube. <laughs> stream manager? Can I see it on stream manager? Sorry guys, I don't want to derail the stream. Just give me one- I just- I just want to know what's going on. They've made me nervous. I don't know. I don't know. The fuck? What? I don't know. I can't check it. I just I just destroyed my my stream manager layout. <laughs> oh, I can add stream markers. That's helpful. I didn't know you could do that. Activity feed. DMs LMAO. I don't want to look. I'm scared. Holy shit. I have so many DMs. Alright. No, I don't know. I can't check it right now. I'll have to watch it later. Alright. Okay. Um, now my brain shut down. Okay, so, yeah, I don't really know. I feel like I might have to, like, sketch over this, this lad, this sir. I just don't know what to sketch over him. Cause like I want I want like teeth to be coming out of him, right? So like but I also like I like this part. I want him to be I guess I'll just like stick with like triangles. So there's this thing with um art called shape language. Which is importante. Uh which is important. Okay, so maybe if we do something like this. So you kind of want to try to stick with shape language. So, for example, something like this guy, he would, you know, he's got a triangle right here, so maybe I can just stick with, with triangles. It's a mecha monster. His name is Jeffrey. And then... It's just supposed to be- he's supposed to be an in nondescript, uh, scary beast. Big bad evil guy. Yeah. What's a scrunko? I feel bad, I shit on Ivan all the time because he- he hates Calipi Mori. He just hates her with every inch of his soul, and I shit on him all the time for it. Like, it's a visceral hate. Like, he bleeds from his mouth when he thinks about her. Maybe I just stick with this whole triangle thing. This stupid nonsense word. Like, taxes. Like taxes. I don't want to do taxes. Oh, okay. The looks like great super metal gear ray vibes, but I had no idea what's going on with the refrigerator chest. Yeah, it does it do be looking like a weird fridge. You know what it looks like? It looks like hold on. It looks like those alienware computers, like the newer newer ones. Hold on. Alienware uh fishy? Like those weird PC cases? I don't even think it was a PC case. I think it was like an additional thing. Was that it? I don't want to- I should be like, I'm just gonna put this PC case here. Or maybe it wasn't Alienware. I swear it was though. It was on that like a diamond type shtick, but their cases are somehow managed to get uglier. And Oh yeah, no, 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 no. Okay, this, this is what I was thinking. Alright, can I copy it? I just- I can't just put it up. 
Oh, you know what I can do? Hold on, hold on. I got this. I got this. I'm. I, I know how to use a computer. It looks like it looks like it reminds me of one. Of, oh wow, it reminds me of one of these guys. That's what it looks like. <laughs> Total gamer PC case. Let's go. The mothership. Yep, pretty brutal. All right, yeah. So that's 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 Doobie. What he looking like? Okay, so <laughs> so congratulations, Commissar. You're fighting a uh, low end computer. <laughs> okay, so then we kind of want to keep like this sort of. No, this would be- this would be- okay, hold on. That's part of the issues is I'm not consistent with, like, where his legs are. So I think it would have to be, like, here. <laughs> Great, now I gotta make a custom PC. <gasps> that would be amazing though, holy shit! <laughs> if you made this guy into a PC case, that'd be so cool! Okay, hold on, hold on. And then there's like this. And then, and then, I don't know, I don't know what, like, this is... None of this makes sense in an actual robot! What am I doing? The cyber shark was super cool. I did see that one. I like the ones where they like put the PC up like on a board. Like on the wall. I just thought that was really neat. Have you guys seen the cyber shark? It's really neat. Where is it? Oh no. There it is. It's a from the called Shark X. It's super cool. It's got that see this is one of those builds where you're like you need RGB. This would be really lame without RGB. Pretty, pretty freaking cool. I don't know how, like, I don't know. It would be really sad plugging in cables to it, though. I feel sad. Because <laughs> the cables would ruin the aesthetic. Oh, show. Okay, so then we got... Ease of access is not pretty. No, it's not. So we got these two little... So my thought, right, my thought with these is they're like anti-grav orb type things. So like these these bits aren't actually connected to it. They can deconnect, disconnect. You know, with these orbs. You know, they're like magnetized or something. I don't know. Kami's getting a custom-built monster for this commission, so... Fancy. Full of warp. Yes, warp orbs. That's what we're going to call them now. We're going to kind of put a triangle here. I'm thinking because like this side has three and this one's got like a lot and they're kind of spread out weird because I wasn't sure what I was doing. I don't know if I should make it. I kind of want to keep it asymmetrical because it just makes it look like that much more upsetting. But like I also feel like it kind of makes it look hokey. Too. I don't know. I don't want it to be hokey. Its head makes it look hokey. It looks super duper hokey. So 
So I think we'll do this one like here. It's got a hokey head. Look at you guys in all your, your light-themed glory. <laughs> Alright, so then I'm gonna think like... Okay, so then these are a little... I kinda want... I think maybe if I wrap them around instead of just being like... Like, like layered right behind it, if I wrap them around it. So then we kinda do like... Some foreshortening. <laughs> this is our shapes that we did uh, the other streams, guys. Okay, so it comes behind, right? And then this is the side of it. But then I also want like... You know, like you can kind of see the underside of it. This might become my main brush. I'm actually really liking it. Oh no! Okay, okay. Update on uh, energy levels. I am starting to get a little sleepy. Still fine for streaming, but I feel like I'm coming down off that high, which is great because I do want to sleep tonight. And then like this, maybe, no, I think I need to move this like ahead. Maybe not quite that far ahead. The ability for stuff to just kind of float is a sci-fi series, in sci-fi series is based on real life tech called NFCS. Mm. Hold on, don't tell me, I know this one. Ah, no, 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 I know what that is. Hold on, give me a second, give me a second. Not neat, neat. Field, near field, near field, near field, near, near, National Fire Control Symposium, no that's not it, <laughs> what is it, hold on I'm googling it now, the, Nudie floaty crazy stuff. NFCS stand for near field field communication, short range wireless technology that can allow your phone to act to transmit past credit card. Oh, that's a stuff. Wow, I thought it was more complicated than that. <laughs> I was kind of right. Okay, so then this one would be like slightly more open. Yeah, like that. And then this one would be like fully, fully like. I did find a bit more music today, so we, we got a little bit of a, um, what you call, a variety in our, our songs. Yeah, like that. So they're kind of like wrapping around the ball instead of just being like, you know. I think that looks good. In my brain, I imagine he can like shoot them out and be like, pew, pew, pew. I don't know how Commissar defeats them. Luckily, that's not my problem. Commissar gets to figure that out. Because someone's going to ask. Okay, so the other thing is... I, I like this one, so I'll probably leave this one as is without changing it too much. I'll probably add, like, more of a... Like, a detail to it. Commissar, tell us how you defeat this beast. He 
Lisa, my TTRPG says I'm kind of excited to see it work mechanically. Yeah, that'd be neat. Floating stuff is cool. And then here's the ball. And here's the back. He's gonna run up and hit it with the shovel like a true Krieg. And maybe have this one come down like this. And then this one can come in like this. Sorry, I don't mean to breathe into the mic. If I am and it's getting annoying, please just tell me. Yeah. I think that looks like it's... It's a bit more put together now, I think. Where's the rest of, like, the big build? No, sorry. Defeated? How do you think I ended up in Mead Hall? Oh, shit! Ah! No! No, I didn't realize those strong comments are death scene. No! 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 I'm so sad! I killed Commissar! <laughs> Actually, Commissar already lost his arms. They're already gone. See? They're already gone. Which means it wasn't quite dead yet. I was like, oh, you're still alive. Oh, okay. Sorry about your arms. I'm gonna go. <laughs> Bye. All right, so this has to be more uh, exciting. So I'm gonna Google Black Hedge. And see if I can get some cool ideas because this this lad this thing right here is not not my jam. I like parts of it, but I don't like the whole thing. Although I can't just copy something straight out, that would be dumb. Need some inspo, 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 inspo. Mecca head, maybe Mecca. Warframe has some really interesting... I know Warframe's technically not mecha. Technically. What if... Okay, what if we did this? Alright, let me... I'm spitballing here, so this might not be the final design. But I'm, I'm looking at some stuff, and I'm kind of interdested in it. We got some triangles going on. I'm kind of I'm kind of feeling it. That's not a triangle. That's a rhombus. It's okay. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Don't think too hard about the rhombus. What if we put like, okay, wait, so this is, a, okay, this is the center line, right? So his head is, okay, hold on. <laughs> the things you guys don't see when I'm like doing, normally I have like a sketch and then I did this one differently because I'm trying a new, I'm trying a new art style and I like it a lot. It's just, there's still some kinks to work out. Okay, so you have a, you have a sp spike, you have a spike. Spike. Spike's beagle. V moment? <laughs> no! Okay, so then this is the center line. So then if he had a big thing coming out, it'd be like this. This is good. It's gonna be hard. This is spike. Spike would come. Like, it would be more like this, actually. Oh my gosh, my brain is- The brain cells are rubbing, man! They are- they are going hard right now. Okay. The angle, it doesn't... <laughs> the 
My ankle isn't allowing for what I want to do, so I'm not wondering if I should change my idea. I was what I wanted to do is have this big like triangle coming off his head. But I feel like it almost have to be like almost not a triangle anymore and then be like this. And then like this. But that still looks super wonky. Yeah, reverse fin, exactly. Because of the angle. I guess that kind of works though. <laughs> this is art, guys. Welcome to art. You want to learn how to art? This is art. <laughs> At least when you don't go in with a full plan. I guess that kind of works. Maybe I make the angle a little bit more dramatic. This <laughs> has been the hardest draw along yet. I can, yeah, I can imagine. No, I feel like that doesn't work. No, let's go back to the other one. That one works better. Okay. Yeah, okay. So I like I like the spike. He's like a reverse short. And then the eyes. The convergence of east and west mechs, the both pointy and a refrigerator on chicken legs. <laughs> it is I! The convergence point! Alright, so like, what if we made this bigger? And then I made the eye like still shooting for triangles. I don't wanna, I don't know, I don't know if I go crazy. Like, make the eye like this. And then, yeah, okay, so make the eye like this. I'm just gonna color this in because I'm kind of losing, I'm getting it, it's getting lost in the sauce. Right? Okay, so here's the eye. And then have it come down like this, maybe, and like this. Okay, hold on. We're cooking, we're cooking. It's not a giant chicken. It's not a giant chicken. And then... Where is I going with this? Yeah, okay. And then we bring this, like, here. And I have one of these guys. One of these guys, and then... So it's like a triangle here. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I have this. This is not a triangle. This is a um, trapezoid. It's okay though, we'll survive. Not every shape has to be a triangle. This would be like the skinniest amount of the other side right here. Maybe. And then you have another triangle back here. Boom. <laughs> okay, I am getting sleepy, which means that the effects of the lotus juice has worn off. Which is okay. People say that the, like T Rexes and Baba Yaga's house aren't infinitely terrifying. Baba Yaga's house is pretty terrifying. I'm not drinking your Skittles abomination bleach. Disgusting. And then we'll just bring this down here and play, like, add another shape into it. And then we'll have all the blowout from the back. Yeah? I think? Maybe? Like, you know, obviously, like, thicken this up because it's supposed to be steel. But. And then we can add in all the... I... We're gonna just take this in a bit. Let's let's break down this body just like a tad, just for the sake of, um, what's that? 
Hold on. What's that one? That mech? Knights of Sedona. Sedonia? Sedona? They had pretty cool robots. Until the giant wiener came. That show was pretty good until the giant wiener came. And then we had to deal with the giant wiener. Yeah, there it is. Just like in Blender. Shh! We don't blender here. If if you watch Knights of Sedona, you will understand. You will you'll watch it and you'll go, oh, oh, oh no. <laughs> Let's just kind of take from them for a little bit here, just for a minute. Oh yeah, the CGI was super. It got a little better, but in the beginning it was hyper awful. But then, like I stick, I stuck, sticked, I stuck around because the story was pretty good. And then it got really good, and I was like, "Dang, this kind of bops." And then the wiener monster came, so kind of ruined it. It was actually one of those animes where I had Best Girl, and then it actually changed my mind about Best Girl, which never happens. And then they killed her and turned her into a wiener monster. So, you know, do with that with what you will. I don't necessarily like this. Go away. I don't like you. I changed my mind. I don't know if the wiener monster thing kind of- I <laughs> keep saying wiener monster. I don't know if the wiener monster thing kind of got sorted as, you know, the story continued, but I didn't stick around to find out. Trying to uh, keep perspective with this without actually having any kind of perspective established is not the funnest thing on the planet. The, the C yeah, especially in the beginning, the CGI was awful. I don't know, the story must have caught me pretty good for me to sit through that, because I actually hate CGI really bad, and I've been noticing more and more anime have been using it, and it's been hyper depressing. You're not seeing them giant samurai seven pauldrons. <laughs> Good night, good, good night, five old spark. Have a good sleep. Thank you for coming. I will read your DM when I'm done with the the stream. I want. You know what? Okay, wait. I'll just. What we'll do is we will cut this here. We'll cut this here. Tommy's getting a custom-made robot by Chet here. Spelled from Paradise. That was a good one. That was cute. I don't remember it a whole lot. I remember I liked it though. I'm thinking about making a video on how Japanese economic boom in the 80s basically created a form of detail in anime that we'll never see again. Yeah. I don't- well, okay, so here's the thing. It's like, I don't like the style of, uh, 90s anime, or 80s and 90s anime. I like- I like the stuff from, like, early 2000s, I think, would be the style. Um... I'm working with perspective here again. I don't, yeah, so I don't, like, modern anime when it's not CGI is okay, but I, like, I prefer the base zero zeros and joyous, yes. 
You know, and I don't know if it's just a nostalgia thing, but... Yeah, see, I just can't get into that stuff. Like, I keep hearing Tenchi Muyo is really good, but just the art style itself is enough to keep me away from it. Like, I'll never watch it. Okay, we're, we're, we're whittling this guy down so he's less of, like, a, a dump truck. And making him slightly more complicated. <laughs> Black Lagoon enjoy? I like Black Lagoon. I never finished it because, um... I think I got through the first season and then... Because I had borrowed DVDs from someone and then they, like, didn't have the second season DVDs and then I never went out of my way, but I liked it. I could watch it again. The, the OP bops. Big bopper. Big bopper hours. Any random frame from Cowboy Bebop or Ghost in the Shell? Like any random frame, the detail in every little pipe, pebble, and trip. That's true. I do like Cowboy Bebop. And I like Ghost in the Shell's art. I never got into the story, but I think that show is for people who have more than five brain cells, and I've only got the two. The Last Exile. I want to say yes, but I gotta look up what that is. The name sounds familiar. Anime. Yes. I watched part of it. Is that a movie? It's, no, it is an anime. I think I watched half of it and then stopped. Um, again, I think it was another like D&D, &D, D &D, DVD situation where I just didn't have the DVDs. And this was really before streaming stuff was a thing. I remember it being really good, though. Maybe I should pick that one up again. Their eyes freak me out, though. Like, I'll never watch Claymore, because I don't like the art. Ironically, I don't like Cowboy Bebop, but I appreciate the work that went into it. Yeah. You read Mechaman? No, I won't watch Record of the Ragnarok. That looks stupid. <laughs> Saying Tenchi art style feels weird though because it's basically the Gundam of hair and anime. It's got a bazillion different styles all over the place. It's okay, Claymore story's not good. <laughs> the hero Yagi is an artistic. Is, did he do Claymore? N O N O I. Did he do Claymore? He did do- No! It's weird! What's with the- Their hairlines are all receding! What's up with that? What's up with their hairlines? What's up with the hairlines? Be as an artist, you're obligated to watch Samurai Horror Tales? Oh my gosh. What is that? Never heard of that one. I'm putting up pictures. Ooh. Oh, is this like um? Is that move like uh? Blah, 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 blah. Rome, is it Romeo and Juliet? There was an anime called I think Romeo and Juliet where like. It looked like they were like moving on paper. If that makes sense, I don't know how to explain it. Is there a GIF? I just want to see them moving. Where like it's patterns, and then they kind of just move across the patterns. They don't really. Okay, yeah, so pr kinda. Not quite the same, but very similar idea. Weird. I'm gonna put that on a list. That looks neat. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna write that one down. I'd never heard of that before. Where's my pen? Let me get my post-it note of justice out. Thank you, Drifter! For the, the recommendation. Samurai Horror Tales. Beep. It's on the monitor. I will now see it every day. He did Claymore. He also did Angel Densetsu, which is a nice series about a nice guy. Medicine Peller Exilus, but yes, it has the chowder effect where the pattern is static. The chowder effect! You're right, that isn't chowder. 
Um, I'm trying to think of any weird. There's, I haven't watched it. It's one of the, is it Katana, Kata, Kata, Katagari, Kata, Katana, Tata, Kata, Katagari? Kata, Tata, Kata, 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 Gari? Is that the one? With the swordsman dude? Kata, 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 that one? I want to see that one. I just haven't watched it yet. Katana Agar, yeah. Yeah. That's the one with the, the white haired girl and the swordsman dude, right? The hates. How do you hate Studio Ghibli? What? Samurai X is good. Sa oh, sa okay. Uh, oh, gosh. I liked Samurai X a lot. I wasn't crazy about the art style, but it worked. Let me just pull up the picture again before I think it's something else. Okay, no, 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 no. I like Samurai X. I was thinking of something else. I was thinking of something else. No, no, no. I like Samurai X. Actually, they're doing the redoing the reboot, which I'm very excited for. I liked Roroni Kenshin a lot. I hate what they did to um Kaname? No, what the heck was her name? What was the chick's name? What was her name? It's not Kaname. No, no, no. What the heck is her name? Karu. Holy cow. Like, I know it's a K. Thank you. Thank you, Fubi. Kaoru. Kaname is from, um... Well, he's in Vampire Night. Well, that's a dude. Yes. I hate what they did to Kaoru. I don't know. I didn't read the manga, so I don't know if that's what happens in the manga, but they turn her into a little wiener in the anime, and it makes me big sad. Kaoru was such a cool character, and then they turned her into, like, the damsel in distress situation. It was a big bummer. Big bummer hours. So, I'm hoping with... Um, the reboot. I don't know if they're gonna revamp that a little bit, or if that's true the story, because I haven't read the... I haven't read the manga, so I don't know. Why do I keep watching wiener animes? What does that mean? What's a... <laughs> what does that mean? Oh, dang it. I like everybody else in Kenshin. Wow, that is a fantastic name. Bong, bong, loga, munga, bunga, lo that's, that's my life right there in that name. Damn. It's a continuation after Shishiro. Oh, okay. Oh, it's a new Hokkaido arc. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I thought it was a reboot. Okay, even better. Okay, so this should technically go up here, like behind the head. Oh, it's a second. Well, I don't know why, but they keep turning, like, characters into wieners. Okay, so the first one I was talking about, like, she turned into an actual wiener. Like, I can't even put a picture of her on the screen because she looks like a penis. Like, I'm not even kidding you. Like... Like, I'm trying to see if I can find, like... I'm not gonna put a picture up because YouTube will hit me. Um, I can't think of what the monster is called though. Because it's been so long. But yeah, she. She turns into an actual wiener. Like, it's pink and fleshy and long and wiener like. Like, I cannot stress to you how much I cannot put this up on YouTube because she looks like a wiener. Yeah, see? Slightly more badass. Slightly. I, sorry, I keep punching Michael. Yeah, so. Hello, Levit. Hello, hello.
Yeah, so I don't know. I don't know what's with turning turning characters into wieners. I don't know. Like this is my thing, right? I love I love me. Stop this. I love me a romance, right? I love shipping. I love ships. I like ships. I'm about the ship life, right? But I don't know why they have to do it this way. Uh, looking at you, Sword Art Online, but I don't know why as soon as a female character gets into a relationship, she has to turn into a big wiener. I don't know why. Asuna was one of the coolest female protagonists of all time. And then she, she kissed Kirito and it all went downhill. She kissed the big bunghole and it all, it all crashed. So I don't know, you know, and, and this happens, this happens a lot actually. Okay, so I want to like make it look like jagged metal, like the the goo kind of ripped out of this thing. I don't know what song this is, but it bops. What is this? Storm Path. This is one of uh, this is a new album from Alexander Alexander Nakarada. I hope I'm saying that right. No, 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 Bleach, get out of here with that. Oh, so you think you got so much plot armor? Yeah, it's a big bummer. And then, like, they keep trying to, like, what? Well, so, I liked the original Sword Art Online until the second season, and then it went downhill. But, like, I don't know why they're like, yeah, it's Kirito's in a relationship with Asna. Asna and Kirito love each other. Let's try to make it a harem. And they just throw all these gross girls in front of them. Including his sister, stepsister, whatever. Thank you, Japan. I'm like, just stop. Just let them be in a relationship. It's fine. You don't need to make it weird. Just don't, you don't need to. Don't make it weird. When was mid season two trash? Season three t movie was it a redemption? I didn't watch the movie. Al 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 Alkalization, Alicization, whatever. The one where he goes into the game and like lives there and then dies or something, whatever. Like that one seemed cool if it was like a standalone thing and they didn't have it be Kirito. <laughs> I gave up when I realized the protagonist was smooth brain enough to try and resurrect a dead person he's never met with a fiction digital potion from a video game. Yeah. Oh, Mother's Rosario, though, where it was just Asna? That one made me cry like a small child. Mother's Rosario was so good. It's Kirito. Kirito ruins Sword Art Online. <laughs> Maybe we should just not have Kirito in Sword Art Online. Maybe it could be redeemed then. Was it's just mo male protags, honestly? Yeah, um, Grand Crescenki had a good male protag. I like that one a lot because Saluka didn't turn into a big wiener as soon as she like told a dude she loved him. Like they were still like that was they were partners. They did cool shit together. It wasn't like a, I'm gonna save you now. Yo. Theo is such a, a wonderful person. Theo is my boy as well. Theo is a lad. Theo is ex excellence. I... <laughs> Maybe I'll just make more goop. I don't want to repaint this back here. I like it too much the way it is. I don't want to repaint it. I am also tiny, tiny of whiny toe tags. I don't know, we'll worry about that in a minute. That's for future V to worry about. Yeah. I don't know why uh, lately manga and, and animes decided that the male protagonists have to be like whiny little uh, bitches and then the, the big strong females need to come in and save them. It's not even big strong females normally. Like the females are whiny too. Like everybody's whiny. Like recreators was awful. God, I hate that anime.
Like, I pushed through a lot of stuff I thought was awful, and then it just kept getting worse. I kept it, because everyone was like, it's so good! It's so good! And I'm like, when? When does it get good? When? I'm asking. I never did. Just for the record, in case you're wondering. I would not recommend that anime to anybody. They did have good character design. Yeah, that's true. Okay, yeah, 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 they did. They had excellent character design, but that's all they had. More hate for being whiny than they are. I'm trying to think of a character that gets more hate for being more whiny than he is. Like, Cloud Strife is a poster child, but if you go back and play Final Fantasy, it's not nearly as bad as everyone says. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Cloud doesn't really come to my mind when I'm thinking whiny, protag. Although, you're right, I have seen people complain about that. Weakest person out of all the girls there, and he keeps fighting. I'm not even gonna attempt to read that, uh, name there. Caboose. Fubi, you are biased because you have a hard-on for, uh, Squall. Oh yeah, Shinji is super. I think what happened is because um, Evangelion got so popular, I think it kind of uh, cemented the the whiny pro tag. Is my guess. I'm not a big fan of Evangelion. I think a lot of people don't like Evangelion. Squall is pretty edgy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Part of his charm. It's all his fucking edge. No, I never finished Evangelion either. Naruto is pretty whiny. I never got through all of Naruto either, though, so I don't know if that changes, so don't come at me. But he seemed very, very whiny in the beginning. I want these to be like bone spikes, because uh, Nurgle has some bone spike situations going on. Yeah. I never really, I couldn't get past him being like the little brat and then Sasuke being Sasuke and... I just, there was, the only character I slightly liked was Kakashi and it wasn't even like a major like of Kakashi for me to like stick it out and uh Shikimaru I liked but he was also like a low tier like not I don't think his stuff really comes until Shippuden so if I knew I could become a millionaire by making nonsensical low quality mech series full of judo christian nonsense and let the fans write the story for me I would have retired well that's your problem you didn't do that Although I swore never again watching a hundred episode anime. Yeah, that's why I'll never pick up One Piece. Like, I also don't like the art style of One Piece, so that's just like another reason. <laughs> but V. I do want to see One Piece Red, but only because I love, um, Otto. So... The One Piece is real. I know, I saw that! Let's argue about their favorite characters, but never pick favorite hamster from Hamtaro. <laughs> is it good? I like if I don't really like One Piece, is it still worth watching? I watched like all the music videos for. <laughs> I was kind of excited because they had Amelie do the the English voice, and apparently she did she did all the recordings to do the songs too. But then, like, the day before it released or something, like, Otto signed, like, a universal deal, like a, like, a multinational deal, and, like, they ended up keeping Otto's, Otto, Otto's, Otto's, yeah, Otto, Otto's voice, um, Otto's singing in all the movie. I'll probably find some time to watch it. Is it, like, a musical, or is it just, like, a movie with music? Cause it kind of had it, like, it kind of looked like a musical. 
No, a ham tower is real. I, was, I actually watched it the other day. It's a movie with music. Dang. Okay, that's okay. It's a decent amount of music. Right? We need more anime musicals in our lives, guys. Ugh, I did again. Alright. Alright, we're gonna do a bit of a paint over with this. The situation. This is gonna get a little sketchy, guys. Get a little sketchy. But just hang on tight with me. We'll be fine. I am gonna use the other brush, though. Just because I do want to keep this kind of on the smoother side. And we are going to turn off the color jitter now. <gasps> ba -ba 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 -ba. Because I'm trying to blend. So much music anime, but no musical anime is... What the... I know, that's what I'm saying. There, there gotta be there. How does V feel about Studio Clamp? So, I grew up with Clamp. Clamp was one of my first uh, experiences with manga. So, like, they have a place in my heart for that. I now do not like their art style. The fingers scare me. So... Uh, I, my school library had Dragon Knights, the Valkyrie, you know, when you go to, like, school, I see her, I see her school had, uh, had Dragon Knights in it, so. But yeah, no, I don't, like, physically recoil when I see clamp stuff, but it's also not, like, my favoriteest thing ever, if that makes sense. X Hall, it kind of freaks me out. Chobits was very good, yeah. I like Chobits a lot. I actually did a, a, a Freya cosplay. Not weird um, from Chobits. Not intentional with like with this whole situation. <laughs> Stop this. What are you doing? Thank you. It's... No, Aran wasn't by Clamp, I don't think. I know, well, Clamp has a, like, a very distinct style, and I feel like a lot of um, places try to kind of emulate it. I would imagine. I would imagine that some studios would try to get that kind of feel. What's your opinion of Elfin Lead? Um, I refuse to watch Elfin Lead uh, English dub. That's one of the few animes I refuse to watch English dub, but I loved Elfin Lead. That was one of the, that was really like my first like hardcore anime where it was like hyper anime, if that makes sense. You know, it's not like Dragon Ball Z or like super westernized or anything. I did unfortunately watch it in English first, so I did have to go back and rewatch in Japanese because the English voice actor they have for Lucy is atrocious. It's absolutely horrific. Maybe my friend depressed for a week after suggesting it to him. I think... I think that one messed me up. I don't think it messed me up for a very long time, though. Like, I think Edge Runners messed me up more than... <laughs> than, uh... Than, um... Elfin Lee did. I just started a new manga, Parallel Paralyze. No! After four kids took over the anime industry with Funimation, I abandoned dub for sub. I still prefer dubs. Um, nine times out of ten. I'm not, I'm not like this crazy, like, sub person. I don't like watching subs. Because, um... 
a lot of the jokes aren't like mo like westernized so like i don't get them and i don't want to like read <laughs> i don't want to read while i'm relaxing and yeah i don't know i prefer dubs still i'm not a japanese person so i don't get the japanese jokes when they make japanese jokes or like the puns i don't get the puns obviously in japanese Blasphemer. Yeah, I know. I'm gonna upset some people in the comments. Oh no. I have not seen Monster Rancher. Monogatagari. They will explain the pun for a half a second during a screen change. Noise. Like a manga. I haven't watched any of the, the Gatagari animes. There are like, there's a couple of them, like the Kata Gata Gata Nata Kata Na 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 is on my list, but I just haven't watched it yet. Tell people to watch Mono Gatagari. You've been isekai. This world is full of nothing but women and they all die on their 20th birthday unless you boink them. Oh wow, that sounds awful. Japanese, it still isn't funny because it just takes too long to get the joke. Yeah, see? Inside joke related. Ugh. Yeah, I think that's why it's just never like high priority to watch them. I do want to watch the Katadaka Daka Daka one just because it looks pretty. And there's some, it looks like there's some shippage going on. There's some romance. I am about that life. I think Drifters I watched in Japanese because the English dub wasn't out yet, but I don't remember. For the romance. What's that mean? What's that mean? Gamma? Why are you saying it like that? Oh man, I'm having flashbacks to watching the entirety of XL Saga. Ah, uh, XL Saga, I can never get into it for a really dumb reason. Wait, is the one? Is it the one I'm thinking? Hold on, let me look. Oh no, never mind. I'm thinking a different one. No, I never got into XL Saga either. I'm thinking Eureka Seven. I never got into Eureka Seven because the girl's hair was short for the longest time, and I just did not like it. And I just could not bring myself to watch someone with a short bob haircut for like a significant amount of time. <laughs> it was such a terrible reason not to watch the anime. No, I just don't think I ever got a chance to watch Excel Saga. I still don't know what Eureka 7 was about. <laughs> I just watched a new slime reincarnation movie in English, and I do think the Ian voice casting matching the actual character voice is a lot better than years ago. Oh, uh, I do want to watch that. I've seen like bits and pieces of Slime Ran Slime Rancher. Slime, uh, I got reincarnated as slime. Uh, I haven't watched the whole thing. Well, I keep forgetting what episode I'm on, and then like I get to an episode, I'm like, eh, this'll do. I'm kind of confused, but this is fine. Alright, now that's it. No! Guys! 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 Chat! What does it look like right now? What is this? What does this look like right now? I just realized, what does it look like? Tell me what it looks like right now. I know one of you knows what this looks like. Nope. Nope. Come on. Look at it. Nothing? Nothing? Doesn't look- never mind then. Never mind, it's just me. Don't- don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Da. Hey, don't worry about it. <laughs> it 
It's fine. It's fine. Don't. <laughs> oh, just one second. Give me one moment. Hold on. Just, just disregard everything. Did I close the? I did. Hold on. We're getting there. One moment. Hold on. Hold on. Yeah, there it goes. Oh, 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 stop. Stop it. Hold on. Yeah, we're just going to, uh... Oh, never mind. I can't do what I want. Oh, there we go. There. <laughs> Doesn't look like anything. Don't worry about it. <laughs> it looks like a robot. It's fine. We need to force V into a Yakuza Zero stream. Oh, yeah, because isn't that the chicken that, uh takes over. The chicken's like the office manager. Is that the one with the office? This is straight up PS5. No! You're right! It is a PS5! <laughs> uh, I think we're gonna call it a night there because we're at... We're almost at the two-hour mark. I feel like... Hold on. Let's just... Yeah. It looks... Wow. We'll have to do some cleanup, but I feel like we're getting... It looks better. Yeah? Is it? Yeah? Kinda. I think it'll look better once I fill in the, the lines and stuff. Yeah? Yeah? <laughs> Maybe? Perhaps? Yeah, I think we'll uh, we'll call it a day here. I'm gonna keep working on it this weekend, and hopefully, I can get it to Kami by Sunday, <laughs> if not next week. So don't worry, Kami. I'm working on it. Don't worry. Don't worry. I had to lay on my bed and stare at it for like a couple hours. I'm not even kidding you. Commissar is extremely patient, and I appreciate his patience very much. <laughs> Oh, it's stressful. Panic. He's like, no. Yeah, there was panic. I'm like, I, uh, I gotta do something with this. Oh, I want it to look good. Oh, I don't want it to force something. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> In the meantime, I'm doing like wallpaper upon wallpaper upon wallpaper for coffee and stuff and just throwing up like random doodles or on Kelly, blah, 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 blah. Rough. What? I'm not patient. This is a certain pre order. Yeah, yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, pre order. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Agree. Wait, a certain pre-order? A certain pre-order are you talking about? Did I miss something? <laughs> Comes was like, I'm joking with you, and I'm like, instant panic. Oh, future diary so garbage though. Uh, that is no, I lied. That one's worse than recreators. That one is much worse than Recreators. The link you posted. The link I... Oh, yes. Yes, yes, okay. Yes. All right, yep. No, 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 That one, that's not a pre-order. That one will just get to you. That one will just come to you. Don't worry. That one you don't have to worry about. Oh, no, okay, never mind. Yeah, no, one of those is... But everything else you will get. The other thing you will have to wait. But you will get the other things. I'm dumb. <laughs> I'm just excited to see what B thinks of shit. Tale of the Goblin Cat. I haven't seen that one. Re. Don't worry. Don't worry about it. But yes, uh, I'll call it a night here. I'll keep working on this. I'll have a new schedule posted up on Sunday. Uh, I was going to... What was I going to do? I was... Oh. I don't know. Do you guys... I was going to play Valheim and play the Elder, but I don't know if you guys want to do the Gunpla, or maybe I'll throw in an extra stream for the Gunpla. I don't know. I really want to check out the Gunpla, but I don't know how long the Gunpla is going to take. 
So there's also that to consider. So I don't know. There might be gunpla. There might not be gunpla. I don't know. We'll find out. But yes. <laughs> I am getting sleepy, I promise. Yes, I will see you guys next week. Have a good night. Takes me a few hours. I can do a few hours. It's just as long as it doesn't take like 12 hours. But. Real great unicorn to finish. You got. You get the panel line pen? No? Alright. <laughs> Alright, guys. Have a good night. I will see you next time. 